In this video, I want to demonstrate how to tackle the dissection of the bladder neck when a patient presents with a median lobe. Although the size of a median lobe can differ greatly, the principle of dissection remains the same. Like in a standard case, I like to start with incising the endopelvic fascia. Start at the posterior side of the prostate and either cut open the fascia or apply blunt pressure to split it open. Whenever possible, try to leave the fascia of the levator on the muscle itself since it will avoid bleeding. Don't go too much to the anterior side of the prostate at this point since you risk entering the dorsal venous complex. Identify the bladder neck between the prostate and the balloon of the catheter. Use a traction stitch distal to the bladder neck to lift the prostate. This will create extra space for the posterior dissection. By sweeping the posterior side of the prostate, you will suddenly enter a soft spot, which is the starting point of the posterior dissection of the bladder neck. Push the bladder medially and to the anterior side to expose and mark the lateral side of the bladder neck. When you now approach the bladder neck from the anterior side, you can use the lateral markings as a guide to dissection. Try to maintain adequate hemostasis at any time for optimal vision of the surgical plane. Once you have entered the bladder, pull up the catheter. Insert your non-dominant instrument into the bladder, pull the bladder slightly towards you and start the dissection in the direction of the prostate, thus avoiding opening up the bladder too much. You can estimate the bladder wall thickness by pushing the inside upwards. You can lift the median lobe with a prograsp or when it's too big with a separate stitch. If you use a stitch, make sure to take a big bite, otherwise the mucosa will rupture, causing bothersome bleeding. Check the orifices before starting the dissection underneath the median lobe.
the importance of a good posterior bladder neck dissection at the start now becomes clear since you can aim towards that point again avoiding entering the bladder or prostate. At the end of the dissection, push the bladder down to increase traction.